Hey superstars, today I'm thrilled to bring you guys some exciting updates from our website that's going to revolutionize the way you guys order and design your prints. So let's dive right in. You know, we've always been about making things efficient and easy and keeping this tradition alive, we've introduced a brand new gang sheet builder right on our website. This is a game changer for all our creative customers who prefer to take charge of their own designs. With our new builder, you have the power to lay out your own gang sheets exactly the way that you want it. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that we're gonna be doing here today. So the first thing that you wanna do is head over to our website, that's transfersuperstars.com. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be clicking on this order DTF heat transfer button. You're gonna be clicking on the new gang sheet builder pro. So let's take a look at that. So once on this page, we have some specific sizes that we're, we use very frequently. You have your 22 by 12, which is our minimum gang sheet. You've got your 22 by 24, 22 by 36, and our largest gang sheet, 22 by 96. So in this particular scenario, we're gonna go ahead and click the 22 by 96 gang sheet. We're gonna go ahead and click on standard delivery, and we're gonna go ahead and add that to the gang sheet builder. And what I like about this is that you can work on an existing gang sheet, you can start a brand new gang sheet, or you can actually edit a existing gang sheet. And what's also nice about this is you can reorder gang sheets. So this makes it a lot easier if you've already created the work already, you can simply log back onto your account and bring up that gang sheet that you used previously and make changes if needed. So let's go ahead and dive right into our gang sheet builder. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys all about the bells and whistles and everything I really like about this tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is this again, it's, it's right on our website. You don't need to download any additional applications. It is super easy to use. From here, we're going to go ahead and add some images. So in this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and add images that I've used already in the past. I'm just going to go ahead and click on these three images here. And then what I'm going to be doing, let's just add that there as well. So now that I've got this gang sheet builder set up with the images that I want, let's say I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this uh, stitch image. So it has the dimensions right on the website here. It says 9.79 by 14. At this exact size, it is 300 DPI. If I decide to increase it, it does lower the DPI because it was made for that 9. Point uh, something inches and but if you lower it to a smaller size that's not going to be an issue too you still prefer, preserve that minimum 300 dpi image so this is really what's really nice about it is that you guys can see the resolution yourself and make adjustments if needed now let's say for example again you guys can grab these corners and readjust the size everything will keep at scale and resize to the size that you want it to be at for example, in this particular instance, since this is a 22 inch wide format, let's say I take advantage of the gang sheet and I make this image about a 10.5 inch. This makes it really big, but it becomes 10.5 by 15, about 15 inches. Go ahead and click enter, and that will lay the design right here. And from this instance, you can easily just duplicate this image for the gang sheet. Um, everything is already marginalized. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the duplicate. And that duplicates it right here. But let's say, for example, you wanted to fit it a little bit better here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it to the corner and then you click duplicate. It will duplicate to the side, maximizing that space for you. You can also zoom in if needed so that you can take a closer look at what you're working with. And you can also move it just by dragging and dropping. So super easy to use. And this is gonna basically maximize with two images here on the gang sheet. Let's say I wanna bring in the new image. So I'm gonna go and click on this. It brings it here. At fi This is a large image, by the way, guys. 15 or 12 by 15 is the size at 300 DPI. Let's say I wanna turn this into just straight pocket logos. I don't really need it that big. So I'll go, go ahead and go three and a half inches. And then let's go ahead and simply duplicate this. So I wanna print a few of these. And let's say I'm happy with this layout of five right here. I'm just gonna highlight this five. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click duplicate again. And this makes it an additional roll. So I'm gonna be printing a bunch of pocket logos in this scenario. So I don't really want that much in this particular case. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and add in our neck tags. Let's go ahead and click on the neck tag. 
it brings it down here. So for example, if I wanna bring the neck tag into this corner, it's not gonna fit. So I'll just go ahead and do a quick rotation. And there it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and fit it right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click the duplicate. This is gonna duplicate this around the corner and then it's gonna wrap up right there. So th this is also nice because you guys can see the total count of how many pieces are here. So in this scenario, if this is good to go, I'm just gonna add this one last design right here. Let's just duplicate this across. And there you go. I'm gonna be completely done. So let's say you're happy with this gang sheet the way it's at right now. I'm gonna highlight all this so I can take a look and I can tell, I can see that it's basically 22 by um, 36 inches. Uh, it's a, but I already created a 30, uh, 22 by 96, which is a little bit bigger than what I wanted to use. So in this scenario, what's really nice about this is you can actually um, uh, trim this gang sheet to a smaller gang sheet. This still fits right here because of the margin, but what I wanted to do in this case is I wanted this image or all this image to fit within a 22 by 36, which as I highlight everything, it is 22 by basically 35.8, which fits. So I can just go ahead and click this and then change it to my 22 by 36. And now I've got the perfect gang sheet. So this is really nice. You can switch between gang sheets if needed. You can actually mess with the margins if you wanna cut it a little bit thinner, cut it a little bit more wide if you have an automated process where you just wanna line everything up and cut it. You're also able to mess with the margins, so that's really nice as well. And another part of the visual aid here, which makes things nice and easy, is you guys can easily add a background to it. So if you're wanting to check color, checking a background, checking transparency, you can easily change that with this visual aid up here. But this this one on the left hand side this basically shows your transparency which is the most important thing when you're printing transfers so there you have it guys this is going to be um the also the resolution line so if anything is highlighted a certain color that means this is the resolution warning sign that you get originally again this stitch started off at 300 dpi but because i ended up stretching this image out it lowers it to 280 to 280 dpi which it's still considered good. It's not optimum, which is 300 DPI, but it will still print in high quality. And the rest of these, because I shrunk it and everything is at 300 DPI vector, it's nice and green, which is each one is gonna be 300 or at least 300 DPI, in these cases, 1059. So everything looks good here. What you can do is you can actually save this gang sheet in this corner. You can name it a certain thing. So you can put today's date if you want to. So you can always look back and revert to this gang sheet to edit or to use as a reorder. So you would just simply just rename it as today's gang sheet. And then you're good to go. And then you can go ahead and click save. And in this case, you can save and add it to cart. If you want to do multiple ones of this gang sheet, you can easily put five or 10 or how many duplicates of this gang sheet that you want. You can also add a brand new gang sheet if you need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a uh, five. Uh, it's going to ask you again that uh, it's going to give you some prompts that you want to make sure that you're not doing, which is overlapping images. You want to make sure that there's no low resolution. And in this scenario, once everything is good to go, we'll go ahead and click print anyways. And lastly, you want to make sure that you're clicking this. This gives you the warning sign that you must own the rights to this artwork and that you're agreeing that this is going to be your artwork and not copywritten artwork. So after, after everything is good to go, if you want to create another gang sheet to separate things, go ahead and click on that. If you want to go ahead and add to cart and exit, you would click on that middle button. It'll add to the cart and you can go ahead and take a look at that. I am making five of these gang sheets and then here's the cost and you can go ahead and check out at from this point. So very nice, very easy to use. And guess what guys, it gets even better. Once you've created a gang sheet that you love, you can easily reorder it anytime. No need to start from scratch for repeat orders. Just log into the system, pull up that gang sheet and you're able to download and reorder from there. So now let's walk through some fantastic things that this builder again does for you guys. First of all, it checks for optimal resolution, ensuring that your prints are always crisp and clear. This provides your DPI resolutions for your items so that you know whether you can stretch it or whether you can shrink it. Another thing that this really does nicely is it provides the width and the length. So whenever we're resizing anything here, 
We always like to keep things nice and scale so that we don't stretch it or shrink it a certain way. We keep the aspect ratio the same. So when you adjust the width or the height, the width or the height will adjust according to that. So you know exactly the size of your design. The ability to duplicate. So it's a very handy option for creating multiple copies of an individual artwork or a gang sheet. Just with a click of a button, you're able to duplicate your design or gang sheet. The next thing that it also does, it, it helps you align things perfectly with the adjustable margins. So whether you like to have extra space or you like things nice and tight, you can adjust the margins to your need. And lastly, guys, what people really like about our gang sheet builder is the easy background change. You can switch up the colors or the patterns in the background so that you can easily look at the transparency and catch if there are any issues before we pay for before you pay for this and before we print it for you. And guys, that's just how easy it is. That's all you need. It's all set up. Just hit add to cart. You're good to go. It's just that simple. But wait, guys, there's something that I want to talk about before we conclude this video. It's a very, very, un a very, very important topic that I want to cover. It is basically understanding intellectual property or IP. It is a very crucial thing that we take um, very, very serious here. We do not print copyrighted materials, so please ensure that all your images are yours and you have the right to use them. This saves us time and hassle, and it keeps everything nice, legal, and legit here. So guys, if you end up putting any copyrighted images, we will ask you to revise that gang sheet before proceeding. This takes up time from us, time from you guys, so make sure you guys are not sim submitting anything with IP. So superstars, Ready to take your custom printing to the next level? Head over to our website, check out this awesome new feature. And as always, if you have any questions or need a little help getting started, help, just drop us a message and we're here to help you guys out. And guys, don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates and tutorials. Here's to making your creative journeys smoother and more enjoyable. Until next time, keep designing, keep creating, and stay stellar. I'll catch you guys on that next video.